Hello, I'm Calm. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I want to compare two versions of the Crucial MX500, the 2.5 inch SATA drive and the M.2 format. They cost around the same price, so fair to compare if like me, you're thinking of buying a new SSD, which one of these should you buy? The M.2 drive is standard, it's not an NVMe drive. NVMe drives are a great improvement on the standard M.2 format, but they are a lot more expensive. I'm also going to compare the MX500 against other older types of drives, just to show the improvement modern SSDs make. My objective is to see which would be better to run Windows and my main programs on to get a more responsive system. I already have a 1TB Crucial MX300, but the MX500 is newer. It should be a big upgrade, shouldn't it? Firstly, I'll show you the stats for my PC. I have a Ryzen 7 1st Gen 1700 CPU. It's standard at 3000 MHz, but auto boosts to 3700 when needed. It's an 8 core 16 thread chip. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM running at 3000 megahertz. The motherboard is an Asus Prime X370 Pro on the AM4 socket. Firstly, I wanted to see how fast the MX500 is via USB. Here are the figures. I've shown this just in case you were thinking of buying one to use as a backup drive. There's a comparison to a standard SSHD, which I pulled out of an old laptop when it broke. As you can see, with the limitations with the USB 3, the MX500 is over twice the speed of the standard SSHD on both read and write. Around 236% on read and 233% on write. To keep this simple, I'm going to concentrate on the top line figures, but you can see the SSD dominates in all of all the other sections too. Remember though, a backup drive hasn't got to be fast, but how long do you want to wait for this task? If you are rocking an old HD like me for this purpose, that's fine. But before you buy one, look into the life expectancy of a HD compared to an SSD. Next, I installed the MX500 internally in order to compare it against the mechanical hard drive I have installed. This is a 3TB 7200 RPM drive, which I keep all my Steam games on. It performs well for this task and I have no qualms with it whatsoever. The figures when compared shows what a massive jump an SSD is to a typical hard drive drive over three times the speed 323 percent on read and 304 percent on write you probably already know this but these figures support the fact that if you're building or buying a new computer the traditional mechanical hard drive is not the way to go as a main boot drive these days mechanical drives are fine to store files photos and games on but as a main drive the performance you want running windows I would not in 2018 have a mechanical hard drive to do this. A lot of people are speeding up their old laptops by replacing the mechanical drives with an SSD as it greatly improves performance. Just be aware, not all SSDs are made the same. We do seem to be getting a lot of cheap crap on the market these days. It's not only limited to SSDs, there's dodgy USB sticks, dodgy graphics cards, just to mention a few. So make sure you check feedback and reviews before you buy anything. Think. Let's compare the two MX500s now. The M.2 installs directly to the motherboard. No cables. It should be faster, right? Here are the figures. This is disappointing. It's slower, not by much, a slightly bigger gap on right, but look at the second line where the more complicated sets of data transfers applies. I would say that is a mighty gap and it's bound to have an impact on performance on non-basic tasks. Well, I have my results. Due to these figures, I'm going to use the two and a half inch SATA MX500 as the main boot drive and the M.2 drive as storage. These results could be down to my motherboard. Maybe it's the increased temperature of the M.2 drive that's slowing it down. Logic to me though, if this was the case, I would imagine the first line would be a more dramatic difference too. In any case, it's disappointing. I thought it would be faster because it's directly connected to the motherboard. At the very least, I was expecting a slight improvement. Let's compare the faster two and a half inch MX500 against my old drive, the one terabyte MX300. Hmm, not a great difference really, is it? That's an increase of about five or six percent. Some tech channels do say the larger the drive, the better performance you get from that drive. As the MX300 is twice the size of the MX500, maybe this is why the figures are so close. To summarise then, this M.2 MX500 is slower than the standard 2.5 inch SATA equivalent on my system anyway, even more so when more complex data is being processed. The only benefit to the M.2 drive is it's easy to install and there are no cables are needed. But remember, temperatures could be an issue and so could my motherboard. 
There's just a few important things I'd like to share with you now though. An NVMe drive which uses the M.2 slot will be a great improvement, but you will have to check to see if your motherboard is compatible with this feature. Some motherboards just support the M.2 feature and not the NVMe. Some motherboards have two M.2 slots, with only one of them supporting the NVMe feature. When using the M.2 slots on the motherboard, this can be at the sacrifice of the SATA ports. For example, on mine, when I use the M.2 slot, SATA port 8 cannot be used, so I'll bear this in mind when planning a build. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, show your appreciation by hitting the like button and leaving a comment. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I do have other things to offer. Here's a few of my other videos that I've made. If you can, please share this video, and thanks for watching. I'm Calm, signing off. Have a good morning, afternoon, or good evening. Farewell till next time. See you later.